Okay, wow guys, it has been a minute since we last did our Get Ready With Me videos. Tonight is very special because I have not left this house in so long. And I'm not planning to leave anytime soon, but we're actually doing something special tonight. It is our anniversary and Slater and I are planning to cook a little dinner date for ourselves. He's gonna have some steak, I'm gonna have some sea bass. He did say that he is going to cook the entire dinner, so let's see. But we also decided to dress up for the first time in so long because it is a special occasion and I thought why not get ready with all the members of the Sky Fam so you guys feel like you are part of this little date situation as well. If you guys are interested then please do keep on watching. So obviously I just got out of the shower. It is a nice Sunday here at home. It's raining outside and it just feels like it's gonna be an amazing day. I've already cleansed my skin, as you can see. My hair's a mess. And what I'm gonna be doing now, first and foremost, is skincare. But before that, I'm just gonna go grab a comb because this hair situation, I can't, I can't feel. So there's absolutely nothing on my face right now, save for that spray that I put just to kind of hydrate my skin. It's just a facial mist. And now I'm gonna spritz some hair mist on my hair so that this humidity will not frizz up my hair. This is, I look like a hot mess right now, but wait, because at the end of this video, date night ready na ako. Okay, let's start with skincare. Um, after toner, when this wet um, wetness kind of seeps and penetrates inside my skin, I like to follow up with a serum or an ampoule or anything of that sort. And I have a bunch here that I wanna show you. This is by Common Labs. And Common Labs is a very famous brand from Korea. What's cool about Common Labs is that they kind of put the focus on vitamin skincare. So everything is made of vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E. Now, when you think of the word ampoule, the thing that goes into your mind is like this really sticky substance, but this is not, guys. I've been using this day and night for like maybe five days now, and I really, really like it. This is called the Dual Vita Antioxidant Ampoule because it has vitamins C, which is brightening, plus vitamin E, which kind of um, stabilizes the vitamin C, and it actually comes in like two vials and the dropper came in separate, but I placed the dropper in because I already used it. Um, the reason why they put it in two separate vials, even though it's the same product, is to keep this like fresh while you're still not using it because it spoils easy and you need to keep it in a very dark glass container, hence why it's amber colored here, and you, you need to keep it away from direct sun. So I'm just going to pat that onto my skin. Guys, look. That was super fast and already my skin does not feel greasy at all. This is an antioxidant because it helps improve your skin's elasticity and like protects your skin from all of these environmental stressors like pollution, um, what else? Sunlight, all of these things. Also when you're using vitamin C, you have to remember to use sunscreen on top of it so that it really protects your face. The uh, moisturizer that I've been using lately is also by Common Labs. It is the Vitamin C Brightening Gel Cream. If you do not like super thick, super creamy, super oily feeling of sunscreen, uh, of moisturizer on your skin, then definitely give this a try because look, it's in a gel consistency. It's super lightweight. Like sometimes I forget that I already put moisturizer on because it just feels super lightweight. And I applied a little bit onto my hand, did the therapist swipe, and I'm gonna pat it all over my face now. Now I'm gonna apply it all the way down to my neck because that is where skin aging first shows itself. And don't forget also your chest area. Because sometimes, you know, we have extra product on our hands. Might as well spread it because it's so sayang naman if you just wash your hands, right? This one naman is vitamin B5 for hydration and it really does super moisturize your skin. The ingredients are 10.8% vitamin B or panthenol panthenol and it really does like moisturize your tired and dehydrated skin it also has hyaluronic acid which you guys know is a key ingredient for moisturizing your skin and it also contains honey which is also great 
for moisture. So everything in this little ampoule is for moisture. And guys, I've already tried this before. It is also very light, the same consistency as the other product I showed you, the other ampoule. Mm, it also smells amazing, like not so overpowering, but smells really, really good. Now, if you guys have like sensitive skin, if you're acne prone, if your skin needs a little calming, then they also have this vitamin E um, ampoule, and it is formulated with Gesolza, Gesolza, which is like um, their patented ingredient, which really kind of calms the skin. It's antibacterial, it's anti-inflammatory, it kind of suppresses the sebum that your skin produces. So it's really great if you have like skin that needs calming, if your skin's so irritated, if it's re it has redness all over, stuff like that. So they have like so many different kinds of serums and ampoules, but the ones that I got are the ones that I feel I will need in the near future. So this one is anti-aging and brightening. Um, this one is the hydrating one. And we also have this one, which is the light cream version of the vitamin E ampoule. And this one is actually, looks like this. I'm gonna show you. I already applied moisturizer, so I can't show you right now on my face, but look at this. It smells so like, hint between calming and mentholy, which I really, really like. It also contains a lot of vitamin C. It also contains that special Gesolza, Gesolza ingredient, which is great for antibacterial, anti-inflammatory. And it also has um, tea tree leaf extracts, which is great for treating acne. And last but not the least, they also have this vitamin E micro needle spot cream. Now, di ko pa masabi if this is really effective because I just tried it out for the first time last night because I have like this red acne thingy popping up. I don't usually get acne, so I'm not sure if this is acne, but last night it was kind of flaring up. This morning, it's gone, and I don't know if it's because I used this last night or if it's because it wasn't acne to begin with, but I heard great reviews about this product, and so um, I got it na lang. And yeah, those are all of the things that we're gonna be doing to our face this morning. Now we can move on to sunscreen. So I'm just going to apply sunscreen because even though it is a rainy day outside, I forgot to shake it. Even though it's a rainy day outside, like, you are still prone to getting UV, harmful UV rays from the sun. And because I use vitamin C, I wanna make sure that my skin is protected from the sun. So I'm just going to tap that all over my face and you can go ham when it comes to applying sunscreen. Okay, now that our skin is prepped and primed, I am going to start with my makeup. Let's go. Guys, I have not worn makeup in so long. Like legit makeup that I think I even forgot already how to like properly apply foundation and all of those things. So the most that I do really is put concealer and that's it. Like I tried one time wearing foundation and it just felt so heavy on my skin. Like I felt like it aged me more. I don't know why. And now even when I wear concealer, I watched my old videos and then there was this time where I put concealer like triangle like so much and then I just blended everything. Kind of like no, the, the Uso Kim K style before but I realized that just really makes your face more cakey and also makes you look older for some weird reason. I don't know, if it works for you, it works for you. But for me, I find that the less product that I put, the more my skin is able to kind of peek through and the more youthful it makes me. Like I like it that Sometimes you can see through the makeup, like your skin can still be seen, it's just you're correcting the color, stuff like that. So that's all I'm gonna do for like the base. Now we are gonna move on to, what am I gonna do? Usually if I'm just at home, I will apply like blush. So sometimes I go for a cream blush, usually I go for a cream blush, but I think now because it's a special occasion, we can go cream and then layer it on top with a powder. So I'm just going to apply this, like usually I apply my blush like here, but I like to apply it, recently I like to apply it higher up. I feel like it just makes you look a little bit more youthful. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I don't know why everything today is like anti-aging. Like I want to preserve my youth <laughs> for some weird reason. Okay. So I'm just going to tap that here, but don't worry because we're gonna be applying powder. And when we do, this will all become a lot less pink. So I'm going in with loose powder. This one is from Laura Mercier. I'm just going to hmm, tap that under my eyes. I also don't like adding too much powder because I feel like if your face is too matte, it also ages you. So I just apply it to under my eyes and my T-zone. 
and everything else is all natural. Okay, next we are going to be layering our blush. So I'm using this NARS. Oh, it's not NARS, it's NYX Illuminator. And it has a little shimmer in it, which I like. So I'm just going to like put that on top because when I smile, you can see that kind of there's a reflection because there's glitter in this powder. And that's what I really like about it. I cut my bangs with my sister a few days ago just because we were so bored. We didn't have anything to do, so we gave ourselves bangs. Good thing it did not turn out like a horrendous failure. It's actually okay. I like it, which you guys will see later when I style my hair. I'm going to contour my nose, but just here on the tip. And then that's that's really all I do for contour because before I used to go like all the way here and make it so dark and I just felt like um, I'm, I'm outdoors a lot now, especially because I'm always at home and I'm always in my in-laws house and sometimes when I check the mirror and I'm outdoors and I can see like all the lines that I created with my makeup, it just looks too fake. So now I just like to apply the bare minimum and like I like it that you can still see like the, the freckles peeking through, um, the skin texture here, the veins here, like not everything is super perfect, not everything is colored and covered up. So parang just just like enhance, not change. Okay, for shimmer, usually I will put it like here under the brow bone, here on the high points of my cheeks, but because we already put that blush with glitter, I'm gonna go in with this Tristique. It's so cool, it's like a pencil, but it's, it has a shimmer here, and I'm just gonna put it here on the tip of my nose and here. Um, and it really makes a dif big difference. Like it makes my nose look like it's super duper long. I love this thing. I think I got it at Revolve Beauty, if I'm not mistaken. And then, and then, this is also a really cool powder that you guys can use. It's from Hourglass. So I have two colors here. I have a bronzy glittery one and I have a like white glittery one. And it's, I don't know what it's called. It's, it's called the, it's part of the ambient lighting palette. So it's just like a face powder, but you dust it on top of like the white powder. I use it on the high points of my face. And it's not like a thick powder that's gonna mattify your face. It's actually gonna provide more dimension. Like when the light hits it, Parang, it just makes your face look a lot more flawless because like there are little glitters on it and when the light hits it, it just makes it a little bit more like, you know, there's movement. It's not flat, like it's not monotone. So I like these two. So I'm going to be using this uh, Benefit pen, which is cool because it has the three line thing. So you can really draw like hair like strokes. So I like to use it here just to kind of thicken up the brow without like making it look too drawn on. Especially here in this part. And then I'll do the same on the other side. Now I got my brows microbladed years ago and I haven't been able to go for a retouch like in more than two years because I got pregnant and I was always busy and obviously now with COVID, I can't go to Manila anymore. So um, that's why I like to fill them in more now. After I go in with those hair -like strokes, I will go in with my trusty Anastasia Brow Wiz just to kind of lengthen it here. I like my brows to be a little bit more long. And this will also really clean up the brow. My eyes are so red and watery because I'm so sleepy. It's hard for me to get like a good night's sleep now because there's so many things on my mind, there's so many things to do especially with Scotty. You know, Slater and I were talking earlier, like there are only two things that you can do wrong with your kid. Either you don't love them enough or you love them too much. And obviously I think I'm the love them too much because my whole life is dedicated to Scott. Slater always tells me to like do stuff for myself because I can't. It's either I'm working or I'm with Scott, that's it. So now this is my me time. Like getting ready is my me time. I used to be like all about experimenting with different like eyeshadows, uh, making different colors and looks and everything like that. But ever since I got pregnant, ever since the pandemic happened, like I've just been more um, basic, I guess, and more neutral. And I have been loving still the same palette that I talk about with you all the time is the um, Pat McGrath. And I usually like, this is such a beautiful palette, but I only, usually go with this color because it's like every time i put it on it's like no fail i don't have to think about it it's not too much it's not too intense nah. like i'll be 
ashamed if somebody sees me like I know you're not supposed to be ashamed and you're supposed to be confident in your makeup look and like that's kind of what makeup is supposed to do to make you feel more confident but I feel like I look crazy if let's say I decide to put on a green eye and then set our plan suddenly like I have to go to my in-laws place they're like why are you wearing green eyeshadow like it's so weird right so brown is like a safe color when I have to like last minute shoot a video or I have to get ready real quick this is what I go for um, it's just very basic it's not too dark where um, it makes your eyes look like older again with the youth here but it just gives a little bit of dimension to your eye it's kind of like a darker version of the ambient light that I talked to you guys about earlier and that is it like all I did was apply like one color and blend it out and that's it it's just like adding shade to your eyes I think and I really like how it looks like. I was thinking like, oh, I can't shoot any more like makeup tutorials for you guys or like get ready with me videos because I don't wear makeup anymore. Like I don't have any creative new looks to show you or new products to show you guys. But honestly, like even this is enough. Like getting ready with you guys, it doesn't have to be super bonga false eyelashes. That's another thing. I never wear false eyelashes anymore. Like, I like things so much more natural now than in the past. Like, I was so much more creative. And I guess also I had more time in the past to kind of experiment. But now, like, time is of the essence. So as fast as I can go and as natural but like put together as I can go, that's the goal. I still like to put this, which is kind of like a an eyelash essence because if you guys have super slick straight lashes that don't hold up, this one is an Essence mascara base. I got it from Sasa. Probably expired because this has been with me for so long, but I still love it and I still use it. Um, and then I will go in with my gel eyeliner. And I'm just going to line my waterline. Eyeliner is like a key a key to make your eyes like a different shape if i wing my eyes upwards my eyes will look different if i wing my eyes downwards it's gonna look different i usually wing my eyes downwards and see like just by adding that small touch with the eyeliner my eyes look completely different and my eyes are still watering my gosh parang my eyes say don't get ready na just chill na lang. you're just gonna stay at home but no i will persevere because on our makeup it's been so long the reason why i put that essence mascara before i put this on is because sometimes when you put your eyeliner first parang it makes your lashes it coats your lashes already with the gel and then your lashes don't won't be able to like curl as much so by putting that essence parang it already secures the curl in it's kind of like gel for your hair but for your eyelash so you curl it, put the gel, and then you apply all the other colors, and then you can seal it with mascara, which is what we're gonna be doing right now. We're gonna be going in with Cleo Kill Lash, and I'm going to be applying that onto the base, and then wiggling it all the way up, making sure I'm getting all the strands coated, and voila. For some weird reason, I know I don't have like the longest or the fullest lash but i like how this looks like when it's natural compared to when there's like a clump of like false eyelashes that's so obviously not real maybe because i just love a more natural look these days um not to say like fake eyelashes are ugly it's just right now it's really not me i can't imagine like how scotty would react if suddenly one day i wore false eyelashes like who oh, who are you why are you so glammed up I always thought like I'd be one of those moms that when you give birth, you have a whole team there with you. Like you have a makeup artist, you have like a false eyelash technician. Like I know people who had like perfect eyelashes when they gave birth, like falsies. Um, and I thought I would be like that actually. But when I gave birth, I was just like, get this baby out of me. Like I don't have time. I remember my doctor telling me like, Chris, like... You can put, are you sure you don't wear makeup? Wear makeup, put lipstick, let's not push yet. I remember she was so smart and she was telling me that. But I was just like, no, dog, I'm so tired. Just get this baby out of me. People surprise you. I surprise myself. Okay, what I usually like to do is go with a darker brown color. Now, this is the Tevion Eye Brow Powder, but I use it as a topper for my eyeliner. So I just kind of 
put it on top of that wing that we created. Oh, this is too much. And it kind of just softens up that whole intense like black that you put. You can even make it thicker using this powder and it's just gonna create like a gradient. And then I also apply it to the under eye. If only my under eye wasn't so watery right now. Ta-da! Can you see the difference? Okay, last but not the least for this makeup look is lips. And lately, I have been loving the gradient effect. So I will go in with these two Izzy & Co. Uh, cream tints. First one is a light shade, Hello Dolly. And then I will top it off with my favorite shade, which is kind of like a plum wine color. And this is called Sangria. It's kind of like a deep red. It's not like a very bright, shocking red. I really like it. And then, because I don't like my lips to be very, um, Dry. I like to put in lip treat from Sunny's face. You can use a lip oil, a lip balm. But I like this because it has its own tint also. This is the color juice. And it really does make my lips feel super duper soft and healthy. I will prefer this kind of lip any day compared to like a matte lip because matte lips just really make my lips feel dry. Although, if you're going to a shoot, like matte lips will stay on longer, so you don't need to retouch as much. But this one for every day, mm, a okay. Okay, we're gonna be doing hair next. Speak with clarity, will want to blow dry downwards so that you're not going against the grain of your hair and there's less static and there's less flyaway. Perks of having short hair is that it's so easy to dry and style. It takes like no time at all. We're gonna go in with the Avita um, Smoothing Fluid Lotion. And I got this from Fendi, whom I miss so much. Fendi, gosh, when kaya will be the next time I get to visit you? <laughs> Maybe when Scott is like five years old. <laughs> so this is supposed to kind of tame your hair um, from all the frizz. So I just kind of rough blow dried it. And then later, if I'm feeling hot, I'm just gonna ponytail it. And super duper simple because um, even if I just ponytail it, I feel like the bangs really help. I'm gonna show you now how we created the bang situation. It's kind of like curtain bangs. Do you see it? I'm going to get my Dyson. Hold on. And this is a trick that I learned from Trisha Gossintian. How to make this part more volume. You just push. See? I don't know if there's a difference, but like, this is supposed to be more volume. Ah, I see. I guess you can also do this. I'm winging it. Ooh. Cool. And then, we're gonna do the bang. Whoa. Uh, probably shouldn't have blow dried the bangs because I don't like how that looks. Hmm. Let's see if this will go down when I change. This 
bag situation is not working for me, so let's go in with another Dyson. All my hair products are from Dyson. Um, this is their hair straightener, which I find really cool because it's wireless, which means you can practically take this in the car with you or wherever you are, and you don't need to be connected to a power outlet, which I think is so amazing. I'm not sure what I'm doing, guys, but I hope that it will work. Fingers crossed. I just want my bangs to be a little bit cuter and not like like that. So we'll see. Is this heating up yet? It's heating up. Heat it up. Let's see if I can curl my bangs. Whoa, too much. <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, how do I fix this bang situation? It is our anniversary after all, so we can go for something a little bit more cutesy, a little bit more flirty and girly and romantic and not the usual. Even if things don't go your way, like you can always try to make do. Ah, it's cute, guys. I like it. Ooh, I actually like it. Not bad. Thank you. I don't like being on my own. I could use someone to hold. Alright, this is my look so far. I'm going to get my watch. And then we're going to get some nice pearls. Super duper cute. Let's go back to where the light is so you guys can see. I'm almost done. My gosh, I haven't dressed up in a while and I've forgotten how fun it actually is to give yourself this time. You know, just really enjoy yourself. Usually when I'm not with Scott, I'm making his food, um, I'm researching about whatever it is, like his food or whatever, I'm working, I'm on my computer, but now because it's a Sunday um, and Scott is sleeping with our nanny, I don't know why, even if I have a nanny for Scott, I'm still super hands-on and I always pressure myself to do so much for him, but it's nice because now I really feel like a little bit more like myself again. Like, I should be able to give myself this time to, you know, get ready for no other reason than just because I want to. Who's here? Is that Slater? Is my date ready to see my finished look? Hmm. Shall we go out and show him this look, guys? What do you think? I really like it. Slater is outside. Yeah. Hi, love. Look who's all dressed up for the first time in ages. What did you do? We're having date night tonight, right? It's our anniversary. So I, I decided to... Hair. Yeah. What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah. It's been so long since I actually like made the effort to style my hair. What do you think? It's nice. Happy Valentine. Happy anniversary! Yeah, I'll curl my hair later, but yeah. Oh, you want me to teach you? You can watch my video and do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> this is serious. <laughs> okay, so you have to show me your look, model style. I'm a mo runway, runway here. Thank you guys so much for watching that little get ready with me. I really enjoyed filming another get ready with me for them. Like I haven't done it in so long. Mm. Yeah, we are gonna be enjoying date night now. So she's giving me a massage. He's gonna cook me dinner. Mm. <laughs> so we will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in